In this video, we're going to be installing Laravel Pulse, and this will allow us to keep track of our application performance a bit. We're also going to be implementing a custom plugin for Filament PHP, which is free of charge, so that we have some more input on how the server is doing. Now, the reason why we're doing this is just to have a better idea of the performance of the application. This is especially important once we get to the production side. So in here, we can essentially also go ahead and pass through the config if you want to. And then if we go into our plugin here, we should just be able to add in level pulse here. And let's go ahead and add all of these. And we're getting an error. Oh, yes, it's already installing our process, so my mistake. So let's go ahead and make sure we just install the plugin instead. And then we go ahead and publish this here. So the first thing we want to do is actually registering the plugin as well. So let's go ahead and find the plugin here. Or we can actually just add it into our dashboard page instead. So let's do that. So let's go ahead and make a dashboard page. Inside here we should have filament and then we can go into essentially filament pages here. So if we go into filament HP documentation, you can see that we need to create inside filament pages and then dashboard.php. And then what we want to go ahead and do in here is we can go ahead and copy pretty much everything in here. And we also want to make sure that we add in the namespace on top here. So if we go into documentation here, you can see that you haven't provided namespace, but we can just go ahead and add it here. And then the other thing we need to go ahead and do is make sure this is actually showing here. And let's call this base dashboard. And then let's make sure that this is actually properly showing up in here. Let's go ahead and make sure we import the dashboard page that we created. Which would be Affluent Pages Dashboard. And you can now see that we're actually showing Laravel Pulse in the dashboard page here, which just makes the dashboard page look a little bit nicer as well. There will be maybe a few issues in here. For example, in this case, we need to make sure that this doesn't happen because right now it's giving an error. So that's just the redirect function. But we will fix that in the next video. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.